The heart's beating, you're going farther in the hole. So you will be perpetually indebted to Allah. And a slave cannot have anything except that which his master Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos and we post them on a daily basis. If you're new, uh, you can drop us a link or a title to what you want us to react to, and we'll actually do it for you guys. I feel like snazing. Um, other than reactions, we also have a second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can head there and enjoy the content that we're putting out every week. Uh, we also have a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. Did I mention our second YouTube channel is called Funny and Jesse 2.0? And our podcast is called Diving In with Funny and Jesse. And we have some amazing, amazing, amazing conversations that we have there. If you want us to talk about something, let us know and we'll actually look into it we also have a patreon so you guys feel free to become members and yeah i don't know why i feel like sneezing uh a big shout out to everyone that's been supporting us so far thank you very much thank you for subscribing you guys are the best thank you to the people watching liking sharing commenting you guys are the best as well and just thank you for sticking around and thank you for giving us something to react to each and every day i hope you guys are doing all right and i just hope everything is fine um as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to forever in debt can we end paradise um so without wasting time by the way you can follow us on social media on facebook and instagram we go by the name of funny Funny and Jesse, and I have my own personal things that I do. You can follow my personal blog on WordPress called Blue, and I post short poems and stories there. And I also post short stories on my Instagram. You can check it out, Safani so L, and just enjoy the content that's there. For everything that I mentioned, you can go to the description box, and there's a link to lead you to um, whichever one of the things you want to check out. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. The Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, and this is narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu an in the collection of Imam Muslim rahimahullah. Let none of you think that by doing good deeds you will go to paradise. What? You mean to tell me all these good deeds I did are not going to take me to paradise? Yes, you're right young man. None of these good deeds are going to take me to paradise, none of them. But I want you just to think about something. If you were to take all good deeds, that were done by any human being, all of them together, from the time of Adam to the last one. On the day of judgment, you were to go give them to one person, one person, all those deeds. And you were to tell that one person, go use these deeds to repay Allah for your heart. Would you have enough? Go repay Allah for your vision, for your brain, for the air you breathe, for the water you drank, for the food you ate, for the house you lived in. What? what? What amount of deeds are you going to need? Priceless. These things are priceless. Priceless. You would never have enough. There's a reason why as Muslims we refer to ourselves as Abd of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as slaves. Because a slave is someone who number one is forever in debt. A debt they cannot get out of. And this is the Muslim. The more you live, the more debt you go into. Every day you wake up, you're in debt again. You're breathing, you're in debt again. You're eating, you're in debt again. You're drinking, you're in debt again. Your heart's beating, you're going farther in the hole. So you will be perpetually indebted to Allah. And a slave cannot have anything except that which his master has provided for him. This is us. This is who we are. Slaves to our Creator. Only having that which He has given us and forever in debt to Him because of it. And we can't get out of it. So you wouldn't be able to pay even what you've been given in this life. So you want trees made of gold with leaves of softer than silk and, and fruit that is sweeter than honey and softer than butter? You want palaces which rivers run between? All of that just for those good deeds you did? What about all those sins? So they said, O Messenger of Allah, not even you can go to paradise because of your good deeds. He said, not even me unless Allah forgives me. 
and has mercy on me. You see, it's through the mercy of Allah that we enter into paradise. That is thamman al-jannah. That's the price of paradise. That's the price we're after. Good deeds, you never have enough. So give up trying to think about that. What you are trying to earn is that Allah forgives the mistakes and enters you into paradise. The first time I heard such a thing, I was quite shocked that not even our good deeds can uh, get us into heaven. But after watching videos that actually say the same thing, you actually realize that we are indeed dependent on God's say, forgiveness. If he doesn't forgive us, then we don't see heaven. But I think at this point, it should be clear, or at least what I understand is he'll forever be merciful as long as we've asked for forgiveness or bound to be forgiven. So good deeds to some extent will get us into heaven. Otherwise, the message was clear, very loud and clear, and I enjoyed watching it. Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy watching this? Are you okay with what the video was saying? Let us know in the comment section below um make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video